Welcome to this short video brought to you by the Waste Resources Action Programme, providing you with an introduction to organic cotton. The Sustainable Clothing Action Plan, SCAP, brings together industry, government and the third sector to improve the environmental impact of clothing sold in the UK across its life cycle. As part of this, signatories have committed to reducing their carbon, water and waste footprint. To support them in achieving this, the following short video will provide an introduction to the more sustainable alternative, organic cotton. The impacts of conventional cotton production are widely known, and organic cotton seeks to address these issues by focusing on reducing the environmental impact at the farm level. Organic cotton is largely rain-fed, notably reducing its water footprint at this early phase. It also excludes the usage of synthetic pesticides and fertilisers, reducing its carbon footprint. In addition, it excludes the usage of GMO seeds. Organic cotton currently represents about 1% of the total cotton market and is grown predominantly in India. Organic cotton is attractive fibre to a number of clothing brands thanks to its communication potential through a number of global certification schemes, which I'll now go on to discuss. While certification is an area often overlooked, it's important to consider when sourcing organic cotton, especially if you're looking to communicate your organic cotton usage at product level. Organic cotton does however come at a price premium and this cost is compounded by the need for certification. However, certification offers a communication potential and verification, ensuring that your organic cotton claims are backed up. Two examples of common standards include the organic content standard. This standard provides a chain of custody for your organic cotton. The second is the global organic textile standard, which tracks your cotton from farm to product level and allows for on-product communication. In addition, GOTS goes one step further, setting out environmental and chemical criteria. This further enhances the sustainability credentials of the garment. To quantify the potential savings, this slide shows the carbon and water reduction opportunities available if you were to shift from conventional to organic cotton. This example looks at a 100% conventional cotton garment across its life cycle and shows that if you were to integrate organic cotton into 10% of that garment, it has the potential to achieve a carbon reduction of 2.6% and a water footprint reduction of 5.2%. For 20%, that would then again increase to a 5.2% decrease in your carbon and a 10.5% decrease in your water footprint. For 30%, this then again increases further to a 7.7 .7 decrease in carbon and a 15.7 decrease in water footprint. These figures reinforce the environmental benefits of integrating sustainable cotton into your collection. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you'd like to learn more about organic cotton or any other more sustainable alternative fibres, please visit the RAP Knowledge Hub.